New tonight, a march for national immigration reform. A activists in Colorado took to the streets asking lawmakers to support an immigration reform bill. So this bill would expand a pathway to lawful permanent resident status for the migrants who qualify. Denver 7 reporter and attorney Jessica Crawford joining us now. So Jessica, what would this bill change? So this bill would make changes to the registry program. Right now, that program allows some non-U.S. nationals who entered the country before 1972 to become lawful permanent residents. Well, this reform bill would change that and it would open up the program to people who have lived in the U.S. for at least seven years. So that would allow more recent migrants to have this pathway to permanent residency. Activists marching from the state capitol to North Glen, their steps fueled by passion for immigration reform. The Colorado Immigrant Rights Coalition is doing what it calls a pilgrimage for citizenship through December 4th. Each day, they're walking portions of a journey from Denver to Greeley to garner support from local lawmakers. And we are here like we have been many times this year. If H.R. 1511 becomes law, it would update the registry program and allow non-U.S. nationals who have lived in the U.S. for at least seven years to have a pathway to permanent residency and eventually citizenship. The current law prevents non-U.S. nationals who entered the country after 1972 from having that same opportunity. It would open up a path for 8.5 million undocumented immigrants right now. There are several benefits of being a permanent resident, including being protected from deportation and being eligible for federal benefits like Social Security. Omero Ocon just wants the chance to travel to his home country and back without risk. I could be able to go visit my family if I get documents. Omar Gomez says fear keeps him from expanding his tree company. I always afraid that if I get deported, uh, I go, I go, we lose everything. Friday, after walking several miles, the group stopped at the office of Representative Yadira Caraveo. They say they asked her to co-sponsor the bill in the past several times with no success. Activists say she's Colorado's only Democrat Congress member who hasn't co-sponsored the effort. The group tried to go up this elevator with questions, but they tell me that Caraveo staffers sent them right back down without answers. I called the number listed for Representative Caraveo. We asked if she would co-sponsor the bill. We received a statement saying Congresswoman Caraveo is supportive of creating a pathway to citizenship. She is appreciative of the hard work of groups in our community who advocate for the rights and dignity of immigrants and looks forward to continued conversation about these important issues. So you can see they still didn't get their answers this evening, but this group's pilgrimage will continue. It doesn't end until Monday and it'll end in Greeley. They're still hoping to get support from Senators Hickenlooper and Bennett. Reporting in the studio, I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7.